DuPont Zodiac Quartz Surfaces presents Zodiac Countertop Installation. In this video, you'll see an installation of a Zodiac countertop in a typical residential remodeling situation. There are a number of different points of view on how to install countertops. This video shows one example. In this video, you'll learn about what tools you'll need for the job, safety requirements, procedures for material handling, inspection procedures, preparation, how to fit the countertop, field fabrication techniques, seaming, sink and appliance installation. And finally, you'll see what steps you need to take to finish up and review the job with your customer. The installation in this video is a remodel of a three-story townhome located on the New Jersey shore. Our installers are Greg Dobbins and Ray Pessler. The remodel is in progress and the homeowners are not present while the work is being done. The kitchen is located on the second floor of the home. During site evaluation and templating, the templaters determined that the sizes of the pieces that could be brought into the home were limited because of the unusually tight turns and narrow staircases. This resulted in an installation with eight pieces, including one piece with an undermount sink and a cooktop with strips in front and back. As an installer, you need to commit to having the right tools on hand. These tools will make your job easier and faster. Stone hand tools will increase the cost of equipping your installation truck by about $1,500 to $2,000, but will pay you back quickly by increasing your productivity. Diamond cutting and polishing tools are required to install Zodiac. Refer to the Zodiac installation manual for a complete list. In addition, a garden sprayer is an inexpensive, mobile, and convenient way to supply water where you need it, when you need it, without having to bother the homeowner. There are many different approaches to outfitting a truck for installing Zodiac. Many box trucks come equipped with a ramp that can be used in conjunction with carts, which minimizes hand carrying. Whichever truck you select, it's important that the material can be supported vertically and clamped down to prevent sliding. This protects you as well as the material. When handling Zodiac, workers should wear safety shoes, gloves, eye protection, and ear protection where necessary. You won't always need ear protection, but keep it handy. Edges of Zodiac tops can be sharp, and the material is heavy. That's why safety shoes, gloves, and back protection are important. You might be tempted to remove the guards on your cutting and grinding equipment but it won't save you that much time. For safety's sake, keep your tool guards in place. High concentrations of silica or quartz dust can irritate your eyes, nose, and respiratory passages and cause coughing and sneezing. Overexposure to airborne quartz can cause silicosis and other cardiopulmonary diseases. DuPont recommends minimizing the amount of dust by using wet tooling when working with Zodiac. If dry cutting and grinding is required, use local ventilation, dust collection, and respirators. Always follow the material safety data sheet when using chemicals such as adhesives, silicone, alcohol, or other solvents. Thorough inspection is a critical step in quality control and customer satisfaction. Always check the material for any non-conformities that would be unacceptable to the customer. Make sure the fabricated job matches the work order and template. Lay the template on the material and check all dimensions, especially cutouts and faucet holes. Look at the work order and verify that all job details are correct, color and edge detail, for example. Proper material handling will prevent unintended movement while storing, transporting, and moving Zodiac. Always store Zodiac vertically to minimize flex. To prevent accidents and loss of material, always secure the material vertically to an A-frame using ratcheting tie-down straps or clamps. Zodiac should always be packed face-to-face -face or back-to-back -to, -back to prevent scratching the polished surfaces. Use padding or shims between pieces to protect the material. When transporting Zodiac, load big pieces first with smaller pieces on the outside. Cutouts should be loaded with the cutout toward the top of the A-frame in order to reduce the load on the cutout. Use strapping, wood, and padding to prevent pieces from moving around and scratching one another. 
Use material holders and vacuum grips to give you a firm hold on the piece and give you better control. Use a cutout carrier to keep the cutout from flexing. This reduces the possibility of breakage and it could prevent a broken piece from landing on a worker. Once you arrive at the site and before you unload the truck or carry anything in, it's important to do a walkthrough to verify that the job can be installed. Check for heat, power, appliances, and cabinet preparation. Check to make sure that the material can be brought onto the site safely without having to maneuver around obstacles. Once you've verified that the site is ready to go, prepare the installation area. Remove the cabinet drawers. Before you start, be sure to turn off gas, electric, and water supplies as necessary. Check all cabinets to be sure that they are level and in the same plane. Use shims to make required adjustments to make cabinets level. Check the template against the cabinets to make sure that the template is correct and nothing has been moved or added since the template was prepared. Mark the template with any changes that are necessary. If at all possible, make any modifications to Zodiac tops outside or in a work area like a garage. Verify that there are adequate supports for the countertop. To determine the minimum requirements, refer to Z1 Manufacturing and Installation Requirements for DuPont Zodiac Quartz Surfaces. Add any supports that are required. Pay special attention to any cooktop cutouts where additional support may be required. Pay special attention to sink areas, too. Make sure that the sink will fit in the cabinet. In this installation, the sink is a stainless steel undermount. Part of the cabinet needs to be removed and additional support added. Determine how the dishwasher will be tied down. In this installation, the dishwasher is not designed to be attached to the countertop. It needs to be tied down by fastening a strip of wood to the cabinetry. It won't be done on this installation because the dishwasher has not been hooked up yet. When this is not possible, there are other methods. One method is to drill a hole less than a half inch deep with a 3 16 masonry bit. Clip a plastic insert and screw it in place to secure the dishwasher. Be careful with this method. You don't want to drill all the way through the countertop. Another method is to use a two-part adhesive to fasten plates with nuts on them and then bolt the tab to the nut. This method has a disadvantage because the adhesive takes time to harden. If the template matches the Zodiac tops and fits the cabinets, then it's time to carry in the countertops. But be sure to remove the template tie-downs before you bring in any countertop pieces. Position the truck in the closest and safest location to unload the countertops. Because of the tight turns and narrow stairways in this installation, carts are not being used. The installers discuss what the plan is before they unload the material. The material is carried by hand or with holders. The material is always carried vertically. The installers continue to communicate as they carry the pieces. Take special care when handling pieces with cutouts. In this installation, a cutout carrier is being used. Even with the cutout protector, the material is carried vertically with each person carrying the full weight of the side that they control. The material is never carried or manipulated at the rail of the cutouts. If installing a stainless steel sink with clips and the sink is smaller than the cabinet, the clip and mounting hardware can be added before placing the material into place. The piece is now put into place. Always check the fit of all pieces before final installation. In this long U-shaped kitchen, fitting starts at one end and works around to the other end. Recheck that there is enough support. If necessary, add additional support before you bring in additional pieces. In this installation, an additional piece is added to support the seam by the dishwasher. If any field fabrication is required, consider working outside to minimize dust. If adjustments are minor and you decide to work inside, use a shop vac to minimize dust. In this installation, the strips or rails at the cooktop appear to be different lengths. An adjustment needs to be made so that the gap in the front strip appears to be the same length as the back strip. This will give the seams around the cooktop a uniform look. Place masking tape along the area that needs to be cut, scribed, or notched. Draw a line on the masking tape to serve as your cutting line. Use a shim to protect the material from the clamp. 
Always cut perpendicular to the piece using a continuous rim diamond blade. Note that this installer is using a respirator while making this dry cut outside. A small notch has been put on the edge of this piece to hold the adhesive. For final fit, set the pieces of the countertop in place. Check the fit. Either it's good to go or more marking and field fabrication will be required. In order to seam Zodiac together, ease all edges of the pieces to be seamed so that the sharp edge is removed. This will minimize any catching with hands or plates if the seams do not turn out exactly level. Clean the seam areas with denatured alcohol or acetone. Level the countertop with shims. Check for level with a razor blade. Lay out all the tools you'll need nearby, such as tape, a putty knife, razor blades, denatured alcohol or acetone, mixing sticks, adhesive, hardener, gloves, cloths, etc. In this installation, two different seaming methods are going to be demonstrated. First, a knife grade adhesive method, and second, a flow grade adhesive method. The knife grade adhesive method uses a Zodiac color matched two part Akimi knife grade polyester adhesive. Once the tops are leveled, edge is eased and the pieces are cleaned, then follow these steps. Tape along both sides of the seam as close as possible to the edge. This is for easier cleanup and creates a layer that accounts for shrinkage of the adhesive. Take enough adhesive out of the can to do this seam, plus a little extra. Add hardener. Keep the cup or cardboard around so that you can gauge the hardening. The material in the cup or on the cardboard will always harden first. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much there is and the temperature of the location. Using a putty knife, put adhesive on all parts of the pieces to be seamed, or force the adhesive into the seam. If necessary, clamp the pieces to keep them in position. Level the pieces by using a bridge block. Spread or float the adhesive evenly across the top of the seam with a putty knife or razor blade. Refill the fronts and any other parts that are not filled with adhesive. Spread or float the adhesive evenly across the top of the seam with a putty knife or razor blade. Remove the tape where possible. When the adhesive has hardened, scrape off the excess using short scraping motions. Use as many razor blades as it takes to get the seam flush with the countertop. Repeat this process for each seam. The flow grade adhesive method uses a two-part clear polyester flow grade adhesive to fill the bottom portion of the seam. Then, if necessary, backfill with a Zodiac color match two-part Akimi knife grade polyester adhesive. This technique is especially useful for extremely tight seams. It has the added advantage of having the leveled seams frozen in place so that no movement occurs. The disadvantage is that it requires two adhesive steps. Once the pieces are leveled, hot melted in place, edges eased and cleaned, follow these steps. Tape the undersides of the seams. Tape the front of the seams. This must be done well. If the tape cannot be applied, determine whether the homeowner will be able to live with wherever the flow grade polyester adhesive is going to go. Tape along both sides of the seam as close as possible to the edge. This is for easier cleanup and creates a layer that accounts for shrinkage of the adhesive. Put flow grade in a cup and add in hardener. Pour the adhesive into the seam. Do not clean off the excess. Watch for bubbles as the flow grade adhesive seeps into the seam. Wait for the adhesive to gel and remove the tape. Retape both sides of the seam as close to the edges as possible. Refill with Zodiac Color Match Two Part Akimi Knife Grade Polyester Adhesive. Spread or float the adhesive evenly across the top of the seam with a putty knife or razor blade. Refill the fronts and any other parts that are not filled with adhesive. Spread or float the adhesive evenly across the top of the seam with a putty knife or a razor blade. Remove the tape. When the adhesive is hardened, 
scrape off the excess using short scraping motions and as many razor blades as it takes to get the seam flush with the countertop. Repeat this process for each seam. If it's your job to set the sink, now's the time. Core any holes using a template. This prevents the core bit from sliding across the countertop and scratching it. In this installation, the drill has been outfitted with a GFI and water is being used to minimize dust. In this installation, the cooktop fit is checked and the unit is set aside for installation later by the appropriate trade. Now you're in the home stretch. Be sure to apply silicone to hold the tops in place. Apply it from underneath with the cabinet drawers removed. This allows you to easily remove the countertops later simply by cutting the silicone. Before your customer sees the job, clean up the area completely and thoroughly inspect every aspect of the installation. Then cover all the countertops to protect them. If the homeowner is present, review the job and discuss the care and use procedures for Zodiac. If they're not home, be sure to leave the care and use information where the homeowners can easily find it. And always be sure to fill out the warranty card and take it to the homeowner or leave it on the job in a safe place where it won't get lost or be thrown away. You've just seen how to complete the key steps to a perfect countertop installation. Sure, there's more than one way to do it, but you've just seen Greg and Ray do it successfully. Following these steps will virtually guarantee you a satisfied customer. Remember, the customer's ultimate satisfaction with their countertops depends on your craftsmanship, attention to detail, and professionalism. And our product, DuPont Zodiac.